Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS game. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a very simple aim down sight. What I mean by that, when you right click it's going to make you zoom into your iron sights on your weapon and it's just going to allow your character to be a little bit more accurate. Now while we're doing this we're also going to be showing you how to set up a second camera for us to zoom over to and we're also going to be showing you how to slow down the character's speed so that they don't move so fast when they're aiming down sight to you know just stop it wobbling and all that good stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so what you want to do starting off is you actually want to go into your camera and all of your camera stuff is going to be handled by the third person character so open that up go to your blueprints folder and open up your third person camera once you've done that, what we're going to need to do is create a second camera for our aim down sights. Now, the only issue with doing this is that we're not going to be too sure exactly where it needs to be placed. So what we're going to be doing is adding like a preview skeletal mesh in here just to get that placement set up. Um, so what I'm going to do before I add that camera then, like I said, is I'm actually going to add in that skeletal mesh. So I'm going to go and type in skeletal mesh or just find it at the top here and drop that in there. Now you want to make the skeletal mesh the parent of the normal mesh and then with this you need to set the parent socket to the gun hold or whatever you've called it so it should be weapon underscore attach and then from here just go ahead and set your skeletal mesh to be the AK-47 weapon that we've got and then what we're going to do is just simply scale and rotate it so make sure you turn on your snapping if you want it to be a little bit smoother so just turn all of this on and then just rotate it 90 degrees just like that and then I think it's way too big at the moment so I'm just going to scale this down just a little bit so move this it whoops and I think that's going to be about right and then just drag it over into the hands just like this. Now it doesn't have to be 100% perfect as the character or the player sorry is not actually going to see this version of the weapon. It's more going to be a reference point to just sort of figuring out where our weapon should be. So for now I think that's going to be about okay. However the issue with this weapon at the moment if I compile this and press play you're going to see that there should be a second weapon in there. Now, it's not showing up at the moment anyway, which isn't too much of an issue, but to make sure that it doesn't show up, this skeletal mesh, what we're going to do is go down to the bottom, and then we're going to go all the way down to visible and hidden in game, just select both of those, and that way we know 100% it's not going to show up inside of our game. Now, with this in our scene, what we can do is create that second camera and then we can line it up with the iron sights and then adjust it using the game after that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my add components at the top and then I'm just going to look for camera and just add it in there and simply give this the name ADS camera. And when you're making that, make sure that it's a parent of the skeletal mesh. So just drag it on there to deattach it or just add it on whatever you got to do. And then with this, with the ADS camera, we are going to go ahead and give this a parent socket. And the parent socket for this is going to be the muzzle of the weapon. So this way it's just going to move with our weapon now. So having done that, what we're going to do is simply try and line up this camera of ours with our iron sight. Now bear in mind, if it's on the side like it is at the moment, make sure you rotate that, otherwise your camera is just going to be upside down when you're actually looking at it in the game. Now one way to be a bit more precise with this camera is to simply go ahead and scale it down. So just drop it down to about this sort of size and then from there what you're going to want to do is turn off all of your snapping stuff and just sort of drag it just before the iron sight. So I'm going to move this nice and low down here and then I'm going to drop it a little bit closer just like that. Now with this ADS camera selected, one other thing you also want to do is make sure you turn off auto activate. That way it's not going to be coming to life straight away. So if we compile this now, press play, you should see we just have our normal weapon, our normal camera and that's all good. What we need to tell it to do now is when we press the right mouse button, we need to tell it to switch over to the new camera that we've just used. So before we do that, I'm going to go up to project settings and I'm going to create the new input event for it. That way, 
you know, it's all being handled properly. And if you wanted to have a controller, you could also, you know, set up that action mapping for right mouse, right mouse button, the left trigger, you know, just doing whatever you got to do. So I'm going to go to action mapping, I'm going to press plus, and then I'm just going to add the new one. And I'm simply going to call this aim down sights. And then with this, I'm just going to set this to the mouse event for right mouse button for aiming as left is going to be for shooting. So with that done, what we're going to do now then is we're going to go over to the third person character again, go to the event graph, and then if we find a little bit of free space, we're going to zoom in a bit, and then I'm going to type in aim down sights to get the action event that I just created. If you named it differently, just type in whatever you, na whatever you named it to. And then from here, what we're going to be doing is just deactivating the default camera, which is simply the follow camera to get a reference to this and then just type in deactivate and then just hook this up to your pressed and then for after this what we want to do then is pretty much just activate our new ADS camera to so get a reference to that as well drag it out and simply type in activate and then that is going to activate the little thing drop it in into that and it's all good so what it should do now if we compile and press play and press right click you can see it's now activated however the view is a bit distorted but that's something that we can sort out in just a moment but the functionality is there now when I release it it doesn't go out of that view so what we've got to do is open up the code again and we're pretty much going to try and do the opposite thing so we're going to get a reference to our ADS camera again copy and paste that move it over here and this time we're deactivating the you know the ADS camera because we finished with that hook it up to released and then for activation, we are going to activate the follow camera again to get a reference to that. Simply drag this out and type in activate. And then just hook this up just like that. So now if we compile it, press play, right click, left click, you can see it's snapping between the two views. And that's sort of our iron sight set up. Now bear in mind, you can see that our view is very, very odd and very distorted at the moment. Now the reason why it's looking like that, even though we lined it up inside of our third person character, is because the socket for the weapon isn't exactly the same as it is for you know the one that we're spawning in. So what we're gonna have to do is simply make this window nice and small if you can, and then we're just going to be pressing play and then just right clicking, alt tabbing, and then we just move it along. Now, first things first, what I've noticed is that it's a little bit too low. It's clipping into the weapon. So I'm going to drag this up and you can see it looks a little bit better almost straight away. You can also see it's slightly offset to the left or the right. I think it's a little bit offset to the right at the moment. So I'm going to drag this over. So move it over to the left, press play zoom in and you can see it's gone even more over to the left now so I think it needs to go the other way it's just going to be a matter of trial and error really play around with it until you do get your iron sight looking good it's getting closer to sort of how I want it so there we are that's pretty much lined up now for me what I am going to do is I'm going to lower it just a tad just to line up my iron sights and the little viewing thing so we're getting closer and drop it down just a little bit more just a tad and for me that is looking about good so if I go ahead and press play now you can see I've got my iron sights and you can see I've got my bullet coming out of the end of the weapon which is perfect it looks really really sweet um, the only downside I have got to this if I start walking you can see he moves way too quick and you're just not able to aim so what I want to do for the player is tell it to reduce the maximum walking speed while they are shooting so or not while they're shooting but while they're aiming down sights so what I'm gonna do for pressed is I'm gonna get a reference to my character movement and then with my character movement I'm simply gonna type in set max walk speed and then the maximum walk speed is gonna be 300 which coincidentally is also linked up to our walking animation which is brilliant and then it's going to do the same thing over here again for released and we're just going to set it back to the default which is going to be 600 so if I compile this now you can see there's an error because I haven't hooked up the target to character movement but if we compile it now 
press play, aim down sights and you can see they can't walk so fast and that's all good. If you guys wanted to, you could slow it down even more, it's entirely up to you. But most importantly, we have got a very simple aim down sights camera. Um, one thing I am going to do quickly before I end off the video is a couple of you guys have actually been asking me to show you my t material for the AK-47. The reason why is because mine looks a bit more metallic than, than yours does. So all I've done is pretty much hooked up a value to metallic and also to roughness. So if you set your metallic to 1 and your roughness to 0 0.3, it's going to look like mine. And the way that I did that was just add a right click, add a constant, and then in the constant value, just set this to 1, 0 0.3, and so on. And then we're just hooking this up. Now, weapons generally are going to be completely metallic, so I'm just going to add the 1 in there. And then the roughness is sort of the shininess. Um, you know, we don't want it to be too rough. Uh, we do want a bit of shininess, so we're setting it's just a 0 0.3, and that looks all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press apply and leave all of these things exactly how it is. But for those of you guys that have been asking, I hope you do enjoy it and play around with your ADS camera. There is going to be a little bit more done on it later on in the series to make it a little bit smoother, the switching between it. But for now, for a simple system, it looks good. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.